As we're thinking about data compression, we should think about what the lower bound would be on the number of bits it would take to represent each character of our message. This equation is the equation for Shannon entropy. Given some message, we would sum over all unique symbols the probability of seeing a given symbol times the log base two of one over the probability of seeing that symbol. This equation would give you the number of bits, the minimum number of bits it would take to represent a single character in your message. In other words, this is the Shannon entropy. So let's think about the scenario where I have the string ACGT ACGT. I would first compute the frequency of every single unique character. So my unique characters are A, C, G, and T. The frequency of A is 2 out of 8. The frequency of C is 2 out of 8. 2 out of 8. 2 out of 8. So the Shannon entropy, or the minimum number of bits needed to represent one character, would be the sum over all of these terms. So probability of seeing A times the log base 2 of 1 over the probability of seeing A, plus the probability of seeing C. Oops, let me use a lowercase because I've been using lowercase so far. Probability of seeing C times log base 2 of 1 over the probability of seeing C, plus the same thing for G and T. This equals well, the probability of seeing A is 2 over 8, which is equal to 1 over 4, times the log base 2 of 1 over 1 over 4, which is 4. That's the probability. Oh, so this is the, the term for A, but I do the exact same thing for C, G, and T. So I would have the sum of this term four times, so I'll just multiply it by four. So that cancels out with that. And I get log base two of four, which is two. So if you think about it, this makes sense. We already talked about in a two-bit representation, I can represent the DNA alphabet using two bits. So if the frequencies are equal and I wanna use the same number of bits per character, it'll be two bits per character. Let's think of another example. What about the string a a a a a a a a? The unique character is just a, which has frequency 8 over 8, which is 1. If I wanted to, I could also list the other characters in my alphabet, but they all have probability 0. So in this term, I'm going to assume that they just disappear. So I only have to care about the non-zero frequencies. My Shannon entropy would be the probability of seeing A times the log base 2 of 1 over the probability of seeing A. Again, I ignore all zero probabilities. So this is just 1 times the log base 2 of 1, which is 0. So I don't need any bits per letter of this message. Basically, this message, each character doesn't give me any information. So the Shannon entropy of this message is zero. The Shannon entropy of this message is two. 